I know it's not familiar to see Africans at the top of the world, but here is a guy who wins worldwide architecture prizes, and his African futuristic design makes him being the first African and black person, matter of fact, to win such a big prize. How did he do it, and what are his works? I need you two minutes to explain this, then share it if you love Africa. It sounds like a movie story, but it's real. He was born in a village in Burkina Faso, which was higher Volta by then, where no one knew how to read and write, and in order for him to translate the letters which his father would send, they had to send him to a school out of the village. But unfortunately, the classes were horrible in that other place, and he ended up becoming a carpenter. But that's when also he got his scholarship, which took him to Germany. But the bigger problem came when in the comfort of Germany, he couldn't help but keep on thinking about his village back in Burkina Faso. So, and even before he graduated, he started a project of building a school in his village, which in 2001, he built the school by the help of villagers also. And that's when all magic kept on happening. In the same village, he built the most innovative and natural cooling system in a school where the temperature is around 40 degrees usually, but the school was built in such a way that it looks so beautiful and much more, it has a natural cooling system. And then you get uh, neglect. People just say, you know, you are too young to do that. So I keep pushing and at the end of the day I faced the reality that I, there was no fun, there was no resources to do that. It was very very difficult to convince in Burkina, my community, but also in the West. People were shocked. Why you as a student are you going to build a school and not a government or not a powerful European institution? Why you? Why you? He's been teaching all around the world in the US, in UK, at the most prestigious universities. Same way he have been building with his style in so many continents but mostly the most beautiful which I found are in African countries as Kenya and so many other places and this style by first sight look 100% African. Looking at Africa as a place which is abandoned and backward is the thing which he refused to do. Showing Africa to be the land of opportunity and the people who are there full of potential which can actually build Africa into a very much better place and also teach the world and how Total, totally and honestly africa is a big big opportunity things should be done believe in africa and be original you will distinguish yourself from what everyone else is doing in the world by getting back to your root and just being professional and that's why i believe also in making stories and grounding myself in africa it might not seem as a cool thing today but i strongly believe africa has more potential and being making sure you're at the top in africa will make sure at the top of the world very soon if you prove yourself to be an african and stick to your roots thanks so much for being here catch you next time hey my name is bertin and i'm sharing a hundred real stories about africa if you want to know more about them follow or subscribe to this channel thank you